Houston, you have a problem. It's going to be blatantly obvious here as we watch multiple views of SDO AIA, and this is not a roll or calibration. I hope it doesn't persist, but it appears there's a major problem with the SDO. If they can't fix it, the satellite is essentially dead. It has been the best way to watch the sun for over a decade, so let's hope for the best. Meanwhile, we can still use other satellites like Proba 2 and NOAA's SUVI images. There was no space weather of note the last day, but looking ahead, it might be about to get much harder to monitor our star. I'm on full alert. And so should be the Cascadia region. Folks, you will see bigger quakes off the coast here without triggering the megathrust, but four shocks like this will indeed precede that event. It's like a not all fingers are thumbs, but all thumbs are fingers kind of thing. Never ignore double fives off the coast here. Just don't freak out just yet either. Let's ease the air a bit with an interesting story about an ancient sundial and water clock they discovered from the Bronze Age. At more than a thousand years BC, it's one of the most sophisticated ancient works left intact to offer us a window into that era of history. Up next, we're talking about active galactic nuclei, the powerhouse cores of galaxies. Their emissions don't usually change very much. Either they are quiescent or they are angry, except when they aren't. There are two galaxies that have activated at their cores now identified in the X-ray spectrum, and both are pulsations with recurrent peaks in the emission. Sticking with galaxies, but heading out to their outer reach next, folks, they have found another odd radio circle and a sizable galaxy is once again sitting at the very center. They try to offer some basic explanations for what sits around the Sculptor Galaxy, but it's mostly an observing and characterization study of the ring. Folks, in reality, this is the larger plasma torus around the system. It's an extension of all we've seen on the Taurus Jet Electric Field model where it's toroids within toroids sharing the same axis. The galactic sheets, by the way, extend from torus to torus. But hold those galactic sheets in your mind for just a moment because we are heading down to the Southern Ocean and the newest discovery that those Southern Oceans can breathe much deeper than we had believed. In addition to the realization that the oceans are further from their carbon uptake limit than believed, their uncertainty on that number got cut in half. Ergo, all future climate models must dial down their warming predictions a bit. And actually, let's make that a double. You get a cool bendy straw as well if you recall how the changing oceans are all signaling a cold to come due to the shutdown of heat transport via currents and overturning circulations. By the way, it's been interesting to watch this shift in coverage by the Weather Channel, especially after their piece earlier in the week, which we had to correct more than a little bit. I would expect to see much more of these types of pieces sneaking into mainstream feeds in the coming months. Okay, now back to the sheet. Folks, one of the most important things we've discussed is the character of dust in the solar system and interstellar space as it relates to not only the catastrophe, but cosmology. A bombshell new discovery puts some questions about the dynamics to rest, and in doing so explains how dustier sectors can amplify energetic signatures, whether that is ionic, kinetic, or here, acoustic. The dusty wave problem is one of the major ones in astrophysics, and above a critical threshold, the waves will not propagate. Whatever is released in that vein is feeding back into the system and maintaining, if not building, its power through that self-interaction really can't break down how important that is in a short morning show, but veteran observers, your first receipt impression of what I just said is correct. We greatly appreciate your support. If you are newer here, go watch the 12,000 year disaster cycle playlist to get on board. It's at our channel homepage or at the link in the description box right below the video. Pray for the SDO satellite as well. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.